In this lecture snippet, I'm going to use the disk utility to do a little bit of formatting and partitioning of my hard drives, as well as putting on a file system for my hard drive. So to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and open up the disk utility. And I'll just go ahead and start typing it in. And there it is. Now that I have it open, I'm going to go ahead and maximize it. I can look and see that there are quite a few different hard drive options I have. And you do want to make sure you're working with the right hard drive. You don't want to overwrite one that you're using for something else. And so there are a couple ways you can look at it. You can look at the sizes of the hard drives to help narrow it down. You can also look at the interfaces that the hard drive uses, as well as even the file system or even mounting a hard drive and looking at the files that are on it, just to double check to make sure you're using the right one. Once you have that one selected, which I have here, you can look at the formatting options. Now, there are two basic options that they give us here to format. I can either format the drive or format the volume. And this particular hard drive has no previous formatting on it, so both of these options are currently present. Formatting the drive will actually limit me to the actual size of my hard drive, and I can actually break it up into either partitions uh, or I can have a single partition that takes up the entire drive. And so that's where my limit is, is the size of the hard drive. Now the volumes actually allow you to do special things with hard drives like RAID formats if your computer allows for that. And so volumes don't don't limit itself to the actual size of the disk. It can have multiple disks spanning across um, and creating a large volume for you. So it's kind of a container as opposed to a breakup or partition of a hard drive. I'm going to choose the, to start with the partition option or the formatting the drive. And the two major options we have here to work with are the master boot record or the GPT option. Now, both of these are used and both of these will work for what we're doing here. The master boot record is a little bit more limited. It has a limit of a partition size up to two terabytes, as well as the fact that it has uh, up to three primary partitions and one extended partition on the drive. And so I have a limited number of partitions I can use with the master boot record, as opposed to the GPT option that we have here to work with. I'm going to just start off by choosing the master master boot record and choosing format and I'll go ahead and hit format now once I've done that I do need to put in my Ubuntu's sudo password there we go and once I've done that this will give me the option now to actually create partitions or breakups of my hard drive I'm gonna go ahead and select partition and what we can see here by default it gives me the maximum size to start with and I can choose any size I want if I use the maximum size it'll actually use the whole entire disk I can also just type in a different number and I'll just go ahead and type in for instance 40 and that'll use 40 gigabytes for me to work with. I also have the option of the file type that I wanted to use. Now the file type is the way that it actually files or basically organizes the files that are on your computer. It's like its own filing system. The, f the popular ones today used for Linux are going to be the ext4 and also this riser fs is very popular as well with certain file systems or certain operating systems. For Windows, ntfs is, is the default and most popular as well as fat file systems for things like flash drives and so forth or camera cards and so all, Windows computers can, will recognize those two the Linux one will recognize all of these to work with and you've also got special types of partition types um, swap spaces for Linux systems and so forth so what I'm going to do is just choose ext4 and I also can put a label on it so let's just say I was using this for a backup purpose I can say backup is the label that partition. I'm going to go ahead and hit create. You'll see that it actually breaks up my hard drive into this partition of 40 gigabytes. It puts on it a file system. I also have the device SDA1 is the device that it is. It's partition 1 of SDA and I can see that I can mount this volume as well. So I'll choose mount volume and although it says volumes here it is still working with partitions and so sometimes these terms can be used interchangeably. But If I choose mount volume I have the location here that I can actually open up and see the files that are on it. By default you'll see the lost and found. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now if I wanted to delete this partition, I'm going to go ahead and hit delete partition and delete, I'm going to get an error. There it is, my error. The reason why I have an error is because the partition is currently in use as a mounted volume. So I need to unmount it. So I'm going to choose unmount. And now I can actually go in and delete this partition. There we go, delete. And you'll notice that the whole partition is deleted. So you can create as many partitions. Well, depends on if you chose master boot record. You have a limited number of partitions. But you could really break your hard drive up into any kind of system that you wanted using the partition option. Now I'm going to go back to formatting drive and this time I'm going to choose don't partition. I'll choose format 
and format. This option will give me the, the option that I saw earlier where I can actually choose to format it as a volume. So I'm going to go ahead and format the volume. I can choose a file system that I want to work with. So in this case I'll just choose NTFS and I'll give it a name. Let's just call it Backup. And I'll go ahead and choose Format now and Format. And you'll notice it'll take a minute here, or just a few seconds here, and then it's formatted as backup. Now, a couple things that I want to point out here is look at the SDA. This whole entire container or volume is just called SDA. It's not SDA1. It's not a partition. I still can do the same things with this that I did with the partitions. I can mount the volume. I'll go ahead and choose to mount it, and I do have a location to mount it. I'll go ahead and open it up, and you can see that I do have the backup here as an option to work with. I'll go ahead and close that. And so I can still do quite a few of the same things. It's just that it's not a partition. It's considered a volume or a container. And this is using the tool, the Disk Utility tool, and we've been able to format partition as well as put on file systems for our hard drives.